Black Knowledge. Welcome to the Quad Movie Review on Wilma Black Knowledge. And I'm Madison Payne. And this week we have several movies we're going to talk about, so let's get started. The first movie, of course, is Beyond the Lights, and this is, of course, this is stars. Um, this is about a, a young lady named Nona, and what takes place in this? This is about a, a music world, the world largest superstar. And the interesting thing before we talk about this movie, this is going to be the big movie that's opening up this year. Yes. yes. Uh, a couple of things. This is about a young lady who has all the fame and fortune that you may imagine, mm -hmm. but what takes place in this movie is she can't handle the stress of being successful and the life that, that goes along with that. Now, in this movie, it's interesting because there's a police officer who of course is, is played by Nate Parker and he is this savior who pretty much saves her from herself. It's and like before his, we get started, let's, let's, let me hear your opinion on the movie because I know we're gonna talk about this a lot. I am usually not the romantic fairy tale happily ever after type film. I'm, you know me, I'm all gory and slasher horror girl. But this movie, I loved it. I, Knight in shiny armor is all I could expect and think about when I watched this film. Mm -hmm. um, I absolutely like the whole reality of how it connected with the world and those people who feel like they're trapped. You know, it made me think about there's so many celebrities that actually can relate to this movie as well. Britney Spears, and yada, yada, yada. So um, if you want, we can watch the trailer and we can see what you think about it. Well, let's take a quick look at the trailer and we'll come back. We're going to talk a little bit more about Beyond the Light. Why you want to fly, Blackbird? You ain't ever going to fly. Everybody says I'm special because I have this voice. All the tears you're gonna cry. But I'm just saying what everybody else wants me to say. Cause your mama's name was Lord. Can you look at me for a second? Cause you never loved. No, wait! Hey, 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 look at me! I see you. I see you. I see you. It's in the moments when you're left all on your own. And it hits you from out That night on the balcony, you were screaming, I see you. So, just what do you see? Don't be scared. It's your life, son. Don't throw it away. This is different. <laughs> Cause I hear you loud as a bomb, wanting a shoulder to cry on. Didn't want this when I was on that balcony. Oh, I need you. Don't you worry. You need me. I'll teach you to fly before you fall away. Now you had a chance to see the trailer. The interesting thing about this movie, because they are really promoting this as a date movie. Right. Now, of course, first of all, I want to ask you this because, again, Nate Parker is the big uh, police officer who plays this role of the saving guy. Yes. What is going on with this guy? Because in the movie, there's women. I could hear him in the background talking about it. What oh. do you think about it? I need this to know. This man is fabulous. Oh, my God. And I don't know if it was just the character that he's playing. Like I said, the knight in shiny armor, the handsome, sexy, romantic guy that comes in, you know, whisk the girl off his feet. But... His body alone, my God, women, you're going to love watching this film because this guy is chiseled. <laughs> the other thing is, uh, of course, Danny Glover is in this movie. Yes. And he... then uh, Minnie Driver did a great job in this movie. Amazing. And I think she yeah. played a good agent slash manager. Mom. Yeah, mom. Momager. Mom, mom <laughs> manager and all that. So I think, yeah. I think she played a good role. Yeah. And she may be up for an Oscar in this. 14 I, I'm not years of her making a film, I think she came back with a... Thing. So I love it. Yeah, it was a good movie. Well, this must be. I'm, I'm going to say this, and I know you're probably going to disagree with me a little bit, but I believe this is just an average movie. Nah. So you <laughs> give it a what? I'm going to say a C. Oh, and I give it a B. Okay. No, I, I, I knew you would disagree on me. For I give it a B. With no good doubt. Movie. It's a ghost night film. Okay. I don't think it's meant for a guy. Okay. You know, so 
may be right on that. So. The next movie is uh, Foxcatcher, and of course this is the big movie about the Olympic gold medalist who is pretty much, it's interesting because he's training to go to the Olympics, mm -hmm. and what happens is he reach, he meet this rich, rich guy who decides to take him out of Wisconsin to a training facility. But what takes place, and this is about wrestling, and I wasn't into wrestling before, but uh, it's kind of like a rag to riches type movie. And yeah. before we get too deep into this movie, what did you think about Foxcatcher? Interesting, weird, um, exciting, but true story. It's something about, I don't know, It was I was a little kind of weirded out by it. It's something, yeah, I think it's going to be an Oscar movie, especially, oh my God. Sure. The actors in this movie was amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's something weird about this story, even though I know that it's a true story. I'm just, it had me going home Googling more about it. I wanted to know more about sure. these real life characters. So, yeah. so what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick look at the trailer. When we come back, I'm going to tell you why I may differ for her and think that this may be up for an Oscar. Do you have any idea who I am? If some rich guy calls you on the phone, I wanted to speak with you about what you hope to achieve. What do you hope to achieve, Mark? I want to be the best in the world. Good. There's a key for you. Also, big house is off limits. Okay. Coach DuPont has a vision. He would like Foxcatcher to be the official training site for the national team. What's he get out of all this? What are you thinking? This is it. This is all that we've that we've ever wanted. Mark, you have been living in your brother's shadow your entire life. It's your time now. I promise you, I'll give you everything I have. I am leading men, and I am giving America hope. I spent my lifetime looking for a father, and I have found one in John Dupont. It doesn't matter. The sport of wrestling is a low sport, and I don't like to see you being low. Why is there nobody in the gym? Yeah, no, I gave you. You ungrateful ape. Mark. 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 Easy. Good. Yeah, I don't need your help. Wanna tell me what's going on with you and DuPont? Hey, what did I just say? A coach is a father. A coach is a mentor. A coach has great power on an athlete's life. Mark. Now you had a chance to see the the trailer for this movie. Now the interesting thing is, uh, we talked about the movie and possibly being up for an Oscar. Yeah. Now I, I want to explain to my audience for sure when I talk about Oscars, what type of movies we're talking about. Just because we say a movie is up for an Oscar, my opinion here is I'm not saying that's the best movie of the year. It's no. based on actors, actors and actresses. Yeah. So uh, yeah. there are some strong roles in this movie and it, yeah. I can tell you now it is Steve getting some did, did wonderful job. That's the guy that yeah. I think is up for an Oscar. Yeah, and, and actually uh, it's getting some Oscar buzz. Uh, but the young lady is crazy about this. You know who's in this movie that's the main one. Channing Tatum. <laughs> what is going on with that? Is this I don't just... think he can do wrong in anything. Okay. Very sexy, yes. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to let you know on this. Uh, of course, uh, I believe that this was a, a pretty good movie. It's very interesting. It's not going to be fast-paced. It's not going to be anything mm -hmm. that you're going to be just overwhelmed by. It. But actually, I'm giving this movie a B. Really? I think it was, I, I think it was very interesting, and I think it's going to be up. It's in the Oscar for an Oscar buzz. Okay, I agree with the Oscar thing. I don't give it a B. It was slow. Again, like I said, it weirded me out just a little bit to know that this is based on true events. The director did an amazing job with portraying the story and getting their point across, but I give it a C. <laughs> okay. Well, we different again for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do at this time, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to look at a couple of commercials and see how to reach us, uh, advertise with the Quad Movie Review. 
and, and give us a call and let us know what you think about the show and we'll be back in two and two. Hi, my name is Monica Patorma and you're watching the Quad Movie Review with Mr. Wilmer Blacknall Jr. Am I wrong for wanting better? Should I just settle forever? Oh, I swear it feels like this is as good as it gets. Hello, this is Viviana. The Quad Movie Review is produced here at Fascination Studios. Fascination Studios. Hi, what's up? This is Tisha Campbell Martin. Fascination Studios. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your man Dave Hollis of the Ghetto Preacher. Fascination Studios. Right, this is your man Fred Hammond. Fascination Studios. Hi, this is Robert Townsend. Fascination Studios. It's official. You can now shop online at VictorClarkStore.com. Experienced designer Victor Clark's comfortable, form-fitting T-shirts for both women and men. These popular T-shirts have already been published in a national spread for Lifestyle magazine and has been supported by celebrities and soon you will be able to buy your own personal t-shirt online at victorclarkstore.com log on to victorclarkstore.com for your holiday shopping no matter what your situation is i can help you get into a new vehicle everyone has situations just call today 214-356-8706 or look us up on facebook anthony kings of cars steward I can get you off your feet and into a seat of a new car. $500 down, we'll deliver. No matter what your situation is, no Texas driving license, you get paid cash, I can help. Please give me a call a day and I will get you off your feet and into a seat of a new car. Free passes for the movies. Content Wilmer Black now. Thanks. Now you had a chance to see how to reach us. We would love for you to give us a call and let us know what you think about our reviews and our actual show. So our next film is actually a documentary, a true story based on the like of Freeway, Rick Ross. It's called Freeway, Cracking the System. You think, uh, could you tell us something about your film? Well, um, me and Mark started working on this film when I was in prison okay. uh, with a life sentence. And it just came to me that I needed to get my story out. That, uh, my story was so important to the American public. Uh, you know, when it was re revealed to me that the CIA was involved with my drug dealing, it was like mind blowing to myself. And uh, I thought that it may be the same way to the general public. It's a, a, a historical piece. It's American history. You know, it's talking about presidents of the United States, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Oliver North, uh, the CIA, uh, John Deutsch. You know, Don Deutsch came to South Central Los Angeles to address uh, the public in a public setting. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a story that I believe every single American is going to go see one time. Mm. Now, when you say a, a documentary, and, and I remember Addison said about the documentary, when we talk about that, would, uh, how long did it take you to do this movie and was there a budget involved or you just wanted to do it to reach the public and reach people and it didn't have a budget? Tell me a little bit about that process. Well, we started off, we were looking for a budget, you know, we, we were talk, thinking around somewhere around a million two. Uh, but what we did, we just started shooting. We looked around and we had all this footage, <laughs> exactly. and, footage and, exactly. and next thing you know, we started editing and uh, we started putting in other people's music just wow. to see yeah. how it looked and we started putting in stock footage from different people and the next thing you know you, you got this piece that everybody was like 
Wow. You so, know. Amazing. So, what kind of music is going on? What should we expect to hear in this one? Well, you're going to get a lot of hip hop. Nice. You know, it's it's hip hop driven. Yeah. Uh, the lead song is from Snoop Dogg. Hey, with that being said, we want to take a look at the trailer and see how you're moving. Absolutely. Split. Absolutely. Let me know what you think about it. The trailer is. I think the trailer is sick. All right. Yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> you know how they say that everybody has a purpose in life? Well, at one time, I felt that selling cocaine was my purpose. We were starving, just looking for a way to, to succeed. The first time I seen rock cocaine was 1980. Murder rate was sky high. South of the 10 freeway was kind of a no man's land. So, you know, we're selling it to the blacks. So you go to these neighborhoods, you, there's no cops, you can sell it where you want, and when they start killing each other, nobody cares. I was going through like a million dollars worth of drugs just about every day. That's like gold. We can make a fortune. He was maybe the biggest guy in L.A. Rick, Rick, Freeway Rick. Freeway Rick was getting his dope from a very big operator. I think we're into something that's bigger than us, something we really can't deal with. They had been trafficking on behalf of the United States government. She could prove what she was saying. The story was mind-boggling. When I was young, let me tell you how it was when I come from. As I've said before, no drug network will remain alive. There's a lot of people who think that, you know, I made that whole thing up. What they don't realize is the CIA admitted it. See, I didn't know until I was sitting in prison how valuable an education was. Yeah, drugs suck. Drugs are really bad. But the drug war is worse. You want a new version of health? Be the only guy playing straight in a dirty card game. And that's what the drug war is. There are more people in prisons and jails today just for drug offenses, then we're incarcerated for all reasons in 1980. Me being here is defying all the odds. People don't get federal life sentences and beat them. We've been spending billions and billions and billions of dollars every year on this war on drugs to find out that the government was involved. That's pretty astonishing. Crack in the system. This is Los Angeles. Even if the government just turned a blind eye and didn't do anything about it, then you have to start questioning the whole system. Well, you know, the, I got a quick question, and this is interesting because I read up on you here. You're talking about a million dollar a day drug habit that you had. How did you deal with that and how was it? to beat or did you, I know you had to get help, but that's kind of like an incredible number. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, you know, really I, I quit on my own. Uh, okay. I started to see things inside of the drug business that when I started wasn't there. Sure. Uh, I started to feel like a bully, a hypocrite. And once I started feeling that way, I was able to, to walk away. Um, I mean, I still have nightmares right mm -hmm. now. Of, of dealing drugs. Wow. Now with this documentary that we're that we're talking about here, the interesting thing is also is talk a little bit about some of the cast members other than yourself that was in this movie. Oh well we got um we got one of the cops from the freeway task force. It was okay. a, a group of cops, thirty five got oh, indicted for really? stealing drugs and planting sure. drugs and so all these scars in my face sure. in the back of my head. Yeah. They let the dog bite me while I was handcuffed. Wow. Uh, we got one of them to come on and, okay. and, okay. and talk about it. You know, I was hoping that a couple of other ones would come on. You know, one had shot at me while I was uh, didn't have a gun and I was clean and he shot at me. So it, it we got we got one of them. We also got uh, Gary Webbs, mm -hmm. the reporter who broke the story about the CIA. We have him, his last interview on there. Uh, who else we have? Um, we have a bunch of my young homies yeah. you know who never been on camera before they come out and they talk about what it was like being around me how i basically turn them out and sure. being drug dealers sure. uh who else we have on there oh, we have cora baka who uh the one who fed gary the information the first time to to get gary to to bite on the story um okay. we also was able to track down danilo blandon over in nicaragua Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't wow. come on camera, but Mark sure. did, did a conversation with him, mm -hmm. and Mark talks about that conversation. Oh, we got the guy who wrote the crack law. Really? The guy who has, he said he's responsible for hundreds of thousands of young black men uh, doing um, tens and twenty years past the sentences that they should have got. 
oh, and wow. that he knew uh, when he was writing the law for the Senate mm -hmm. that it was racially motivated. So you have oh, a, a, a whole cast of everyone that's ready to tell their side or their story of what they saw yeah. and what they... I mean, all the people it's that surround amazing, it. amazing because it looks, the documentary looks absolutely amazing. Exactly. I'm ready to see the whole thing. Then we got Ronald Reagan, George Bush. And no way. Arthur. Yeah, we got them. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's pretty phenomenal and the way it came together, you know, I, I couldn't ask for much, much more. I mean, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we're looking forward to, of course, seeing this documentary and good luck with, with you and, and the, the success of the documentary because it's interesting because we have to get the word out for sure. What we're going to do, we're going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back, we're going to let you know what's hot and what's out on DVD this Hello, week. this is Viviana. The Quad Movie Review is produced here at Fascination Studios. Fascination Studios. Hi, what's up? This is Tisha Campbell Martin. Fascination Studios. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your man Dave Hollis of the Ghetto Preacher. Fascination Studios. You're right, it's your man Fred Hammond. Fascination Studios. Hi, this is Robert Townsend. Fascination Studios. Am I wrong for wanting better? Should I just settle forever? Oh, I swear it feels like this is as good as it gets. You can now shop online at victorclarkstore.com. Experience designer Victor Clark's comfortable, form-fitting t-shirts for both women and men. These popular t-shirts have already been published in a national spread for Lifestyle magazine and has been supported by celebrities. And soon you will be able to buy your own personal t-shirt online at victorclarkstore.com. Log on to victorclarkstore.com for your holiday shopping. No matter what your situation is, I can help you get into a new vehicle. Everyone has situations. Just call today, 214-356-8706, or look us up on Facebook, Anthony Kings of Car Stewart. I can get you off your feet and into a seat of a new car. $500 down, we'll deliver. No matter what your situation is, no Texas driving license, you get paid cash, I can help. Please give me a call today and I will get you off your feet and into a seat of a new car. Yo, this is Ice Cube and you're watching The Quad. Hi, my name is Monica Patorma and you're watching The Quad Movie Review with Mr. Wilmer Blacknall. Now you had a chance again to see how we just give us a call and let us know what you think about the show and the movies that we talked about today. Uh, we, we definitely appreciate that. You can email us in the information below. Now it's interesting. We had uh, we have one more movie we want to talk about. Now this is what's out on DVD, and of course this is the big movie Tammy. And the <laughs> interesting thing about this movie, I'm gonna let you know right off the bat. Can you imagine this? A young lady who loses her job, her husband is cheating on her, and everything that's going wrong under the sun that you can think of. And she decided, you know what she decided to do? She decided to take off. Go with her grandmother, who is an alcoholic that drank all the time, and they travel the country doing crimes and getting into everything under the sun. And when I say getting into everything under the sun, you know what I'm talking about. Now you know Tammy because right. she's she's funny. So yes, she is. So so what's your opinion on Tammy? A goofball. Oh my God, <laughs> have you rolling laughing at this lady? I absolutely think she's incredible, funny, hilarious, you name it. <laughs> exactly. And there's some scenes in here that's going to be real funny. And and she's of course in the TV show uh, uh, Molly. But yeah. the interesting thing about this is we're going to take a quick look at the trailer. We'll come back. We're going to tell you a little bit more about Tammy and why she, you should check it out on DVD. <laughs> The robber was five foot two, white, female. 
As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long That even my mama thinks that my mind is gone Freeze! Nobody move! Uh, shoot! She was super bossy Give me some pies! Give me some of the good pies! No screwing around! That's, that's your finger, though. Is it? You knocked over a topper, Jack. Do you want some pies? You want pies? Yes, please. I feel like we're kind of getting somewhere, and under different circumstances, we'd probably be, you know, good pals, like find, like, a hot tub or... I actually have one in my apartment complex. Fingers crossed. We, we meet up again. You're gonna have to come with us. Let's go. Oh, come on, Let's man. Let's go, man. Bam! Get! I just... I... Are you serious? There was a bee. There's no bees here, ma'am. There was a bee. Here, just throw the money through the window and we'll get out of here. I'm unrobbing you. I'm, I'm giving it back. Oh my God, there's two of them. We're going to need more pies. America, huh? What have you ever done that's that cool? I watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. On his bike? Neil. So now you know what's hot on DVD. <laughs> you said that you thought she was very funny. Yeah. I thought she was hilarious, so mm -hmm. I definitely would say give it a thumbs up on the DVD. And a, What do you think? I don't like the DVD, so I'm going to give it a... A thumbs up? Yeah. Cool. That sounds good. Now, we have plenty of movies that we talked about. <laughs> Uh, this week, of course, we had the big documentary. Yes. And that you talked uh, a lot about, yes. which was very interesting, interesting because, catch, yeah. and, and definitely we think people should definitely check that out. Yes. And the big movie is Beyond the Lights. And of course, uh, this is very creative and interesting about relationship. So we had a busy week with movies this week. Yeah, because last week it was all the horror. It the, was the horror. Uh, yeah, but and now. You're so correct. It's totally Everything's awesome. life changing, true story, real true life. Story. Yes, I yeah. love it. And love then it. relationships. It I makes you get a reality about. check and uh, yeah. make you think about it. So. I totally agree. <laughs> so with that in mind, until next time, I'm Wilma Blacknall. And I'm Madison Payne. And we will see you at the movies. Have a good night. Good night.